<laughs> What's up, guys? We're back. Here I am. Back in the man cave. I, got, I actually cleaned up some things. Um, there was a whole bunch of storage going on uh, that I had. I've been cleaning up, as you can see. This is all my uh, extra stuff, all the waste I'm going to throw out. I've been spending all day trying to organize with my mother the things she wants. It's a little difficult to just, you know, pick the things and pick and choose myself because it's old family items that uh, we are, that I'm organizing and getting rid of and keeping, etc. I found so many things. Look, that flag back there was one of those things. I found an old freaking book I bought, the Super Mario Brothers. I don't know, you can see it right back there. You can't really um, see what it looks like, but that's the original movie from the, like the late 80s. That was like my favorite movie when I found out as a kid that that movie was out and it already existed for like 10 years. I was like, we're going to the food video store right now. We're going to Blockbuster. Blockbuster didn't have it. So we had to go to some local video store and find uh, the movie there. I'm going in a tangent. I'm, I'm, I'm divagating. Anyway, I loved Super Mario growing up. So yeah, you're probably going to see some posters of that stuff in here and uh yeah so and you could probably tell my voice does not sound i sound like i'm going through a hormonal change or something so as a long story is the weirdest story that actually that happens to me um i sneezed uh it was a couple of three days ago i sneezed and my adam's apple like came out of place it was like one of those movies those like kung fu movies where the, the fighter's like and he does this with his hand he goes ha on the neck and the guy starts choking and shit that's that's like that's what happened to me my adam's apple literally like went into my throat i started choking on my adam's apple that never happened to me before all of a sudden i felt something pop and then it went back into place but when i started to swallow it was like excruciating burning stinging pain and that lasted for like a day or two, this like pain to swallow. Now it's like a, my voice is disappearing. It's, it's like the weirdest thing that ever happened. So yeah, that's the story with my Adam's apple. Um, when I get rid of these boxes, by the way, I just remembered now. Once I get rid of these boxes, I'm going to get dumbbells from 10 pounds all the way to 100 pounds. And I'm going to have a rack that's going to go across the wall here. And I'm going to have a massive mirror to see myself um, a little better as well. Like, like I don't see myself enough. <laughs> you can never not see yourself enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. So now I'm going to go and finish my coffee. Get myself ready because I'm about to hit shoulders today. Um, I might film the uh, some cassettes for you guys so you can see what I'm up to. But... Uh, I'm probably just going to, you know, just finish the workout, get it done with. There's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do and maintain right now. Um, <clears throat> trying to keep up with, you know, everybody, all my fans on OnlyFans as well. You know, I got a lot of inbox messages. I still need a message and reply. I got a lot of custom request videos on my email as well. Um, so I'm still not fully balanced yet, but I want to get back into making these YouTube videos because I know you guys miss me and I'm, I haven't been consistent, especially since I've been in, like, Quebec and everything. So, um, it's been quite a hassle um, being there. I don't usually like to film myself when I'm training in a public facility like those gyms. I like my, you know, my little cage, man. I'm in my element here, all right? I've, I've always been in my element when it comes to, you know, home gyms. I started really, I started at the YMCA when I was 10 years old, but... You know, I did the push-ups. I used dumbbells when I was like 12, 11. But, you know, when it came to actually getting really focused and drive-driven, every workout that I ever really had that was, a, like, very effective for me was at home. You know, I was bench-pressing my bed, shrugging my bed, doing one-arm push-up stuff, like all this crazy, messy stuff. <laughs> but I've never had the money, you know, because I was just a kid. I never had the money to actually afford getting, you know, equipment, right? I, I had a Bowflex. Which I still have, actually. Let me show you that. That was the first machine I ever had when I was 14 years old. This is this guy right here. Look at it. It's all busted up, too. Like, I don't even use it for what its purpose is anymore. I don't use the bands whatsoever. I find I don't get a good mind-muscle connection with it these days. But I use uh, I use the uh, wheel. Let me see if I can film it properly. So this thing here, I'll have Portuguese. 
I use the wheel and I use this thing. And I pick this up. Let's show you, see? Picks it up. And I do triceps with it. Ah, see? Ah, ah. I do tricep extensions, bicep curls, whatever, back, stuff like that. More for like drop sets or whatever. But um, I'm definitely going to get uh, some cable crossovers. Um, a pull-up dip variation machine. Um, I need to get a new wheel for this piece of equipment here. Boom. See that equipment? See? It's the best machine out there. Okay. Let's... Uh, I always do that. All right. So see this wheel here? I need one like this. The funny thing is I bought one two years ago, well, a year and a half ago, and I put it downstairs somewhere, and it's just like it's gone missing. I don't know where it is. Now that I want to, like, actually work on this machine and fix it, I don't have the wheel. And the problem is if I don't get that wheel... I can't use this lat pull down, right? It's too much friction. It comes from down there. So, well, let me move this properly. This hat is disgusting. See this? So it goes up and down. You put the plates there. You put the 45s, whatever, on those two uh, bars right there. And you pull down with that. But you could also do a bicep curl. See, so you also have a grip down there. You could pick that up. Same thing, but I need that wheel for better uh, um, motion because it's really it's damaging the wire. Really, that's uh, holding the weight. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it right now. Um, I guess I'll try to film uh, the workout for you guys. Get some couple of sets in for you and. Uh, show you what that's all about if you guys have uh trouble you know when it comes to training uh certain muscle groups like this week i've been a little struggling being consistent with every muscle group um for their day so like for example uh, let's say you're like um what was i thinking hold on i'm brain farting <laughs> let's say for example you're training chest and you hit like let's say 16 s s sets of chest Usually you would need like seven days for it to give rest, right? Um, but let's say, you know, as the week goes by and, you know, you postponed one workout, you took a day off or you took two days off and it's like now you're behind. That rest day that, you know, usually you would train chest every Monday or, for example, every Wednesday, who cares? Whatever day it is that you're training chest. When that week comes on the seventh day, when the eighth day arrives, you're hitting chest. But now you've taken a day off, you skip this, you miss that on this day, you gotta add it on the next day or whatever. Now your chest is being postponed an extra day. So it's like eight days rest, nine days rest, etc. So what you wanna do is you wanna put in a chest day with another push day. So what I do is I use it or like a pull, it really depends on what you're doing, but I do it with shoulders. So I'll do like a chest fly exercise or maybe some push up, push variations for an incline with my shoulders and maybe a chest fly type of exercise and that keeps the chest pump stimulated and maintained for its chest day when it comes in now a lot of chest only needs about three days rest it's about 72 hours rest because it's one of the biggest muscle groups in the body so uh, this is a 48 hours this is 24 hours this is 48 hours this is a 72 hour rest period so that's three days but if you're training less exercises then you can train your chest every two days um, you know what I mean? But if you have like 16 sets, uh, in your chest day, uh, usually you would need at least a week off, give or take, but it all depends on your genetics too, guys. And like how much you're eating and what your calorie and in intake is throughout the day, what supplements you're taking. And this is kind of why I'm thinking of making my own course. This is why I've asked you guys, if you guys were interested, because you know, there's, it, there, I have my own techniques, right? You know, and I know you guys want to know this stuff. So there's a lot of factors that come to play. That's why I want to make this course that, you know, if you guys are interested to try, that's specifically what I do. Um, I left on my last video in the comment to leave in the comment section. Yes, if you were interested in the course. If anybody didn't see the last video and is seeing this one and is also interested in that, type down yes in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Right now, I'm still a little uh, unorganized when it comes to my, you know, 
environment. It's very messy. Still, I still not satisfied yet. And I do want to clean out everything because I'm going to get way more equipment going on here. I'm even going to get rid of the Bowflex probably. I'm going to put something completely different. Get some leg extensions, leg curls. You know, the whole shabam. And we're going to get this place looking sexed. So guys, I'll talk to you later. Um, hopefully I'll show you some of the uh, shoulder workouts if I feel like it today. Like I said, you know, it's been a huge, messy situation for me. I'm still trying to, you know, organize everything. My OnlyFans, you know, my YouTube channel, all my social media platforms. I'm also want to try, you know, researching this course. I found, you know, already uh, small little courses that can specialize in helping me organize this platform for you guys. But, you know, for right now, I'm just focusing on trying to clean up my environment and getting things going so that we can get these YouTube channels going and everything else starts to flow because when your environment is healthy, so is your mind. So with that being said, let me do my shoulder workout and I'll talk to you guys very soon. And if anything, maybe I'll show you my post-workout meal and I love you. Talk to you guys very soon. Some front delts, a little bit of biceps.